everybody. How's everybody doing? Do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also share this video. I have a message. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see you. Christmas. Christmas. That time of the year when Negroes let their inner slave out and dig themselves deeper into an economic ditch. That time of the year when supremacists open their doors and hands to your economic strength. What very little we have left. I find it insulting and actually find it odd that so many black people continue to participate in holidays that I do not believe serve anybody, much less black people. With the knowledge that is available now, why would you even want to celebrate something like that? You can easily find the origins of these so-called holidays, and it's actually quite disturbing. I also noticed that big, uh, I've also noticed that big companies being, they are being extra like inclusive, inclusive of blacks in their marketing. They're really extra taking their time out to market to black people. I think it's because it's guaranteed that many will spend excessive amounts of money on these so-called holidays that do not benefit them. In a world where your black lives don't matter, why would you even partake in supporting the very people who oppress you? I really don't expect those Negroes who are deeply entrenched in Western philosophy to welcome change with open arms. It's a part of their conditioning. A lot of us know that these holidays aren't for us and we simply don't care. I call this willful ignorance. My job as a parent is to teach my children the truth. It would be an injustice to perpetuate a lie when I'm teaching my children not to lie. Those holidays are all lies. One excuse often used is that I do it for my kids. You do your kids a disservice, a huge disservice by teaching them lies. Another excuse is I get to spend time with family and friends, but you can spend time with loved ones any time of the year. I call that bullshit. If you're weak, just simply say you're weak, period. In mass, we sure don't care about the descendants that are being sucked into the prison pipeline, abortion clinic, stripper poles, being erased and devalued as a race. The majority of Africans in America choose to be ignorant. I guess the next step is to burn all books because ignorant Negroes aren't reading them any damn way. I don't need someone to tell me when to celebrate or what to celebrate. I don't need someone to pick and choose who they want to represent me. I don't need someone to tell me who and what I should accept as normal. I don't need or want your acceptance. I don't need your validation. How about this black people? Instead of demanding equality, which they had no concept of, why don't we demand for equity instead? In order to implement, uh, I'm sorry, in order to implement equality, that means that they would have to start from the same playing field. It's about 500 years too late for that, really. They have a whole system of supremacy working in their favor. Equality means dismantling pink supremacy and pink people collectively. Equality means dismantling pink supremacy and pink people collectively, collectively will not give up their beloved system and privilege for your black ass life. It will not happen. However, demanding equity will put us on the same playing field by giving us the support that we need to make up for the centuries of mistreatment of our people. 
We need to be more concerned about black ownership, power, and economics. Invest in our communities and in ourselves. We need more of us in positions of power, and we need, we need to own our own shit. Another thing, stop being afraid to be violent with the very group who has been violent towards you. I'm just so damn tired of you bootlickers talking about we need to be peaceful and to forgive. Can somebody please escort these damn Negroes back to 1459 on a plantation where they belong? Massa would have loved you. They're the type of Negroes that would have told Massa that others were planning a revolt and then got everybody killed. But at least before Massa lynched them, he said, thank you. Poor Harriet would have had her guns on y'all's back, which are silly asses. Fuck being peaceful. Match their same energy. Match their same energy. This is generations of anger and pain that need to be unleashed. I hope our people one day show them no mercy as they have shown us. Family, this content was supposed to be about Christmas. <laughs> it was supposed to be about Christmas, but somehow I've taken it elsewhere. Oh, well, I didn't lie. Thank you guys for joining me. Toodles.